All right, 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 all right. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck going on with this music today, man. Yeah. Anyways, uh, shout out to everybody who made it today, man. The motherfucking building. You already know what it is. Tony D2 Watch. Again, once again, Tony Digital bringing back another 4K visual back with uh another banger today. Um. We're going to keep it the music real low, maybe. I don't know if you like that. Let me know if you don't like that music that low. But we're going to keep the music real low today. You know what I'm saying? We on this uh, thing. Let me see. How the fuck do you... Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to see something real quick. I need some trap. I need trap music. Only trap. Trap, 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 trap. Let me know though. Chat is unavailable. Let me see what's going on. Refresh chat. Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Corey Brooks in the building. Mark, Mark in the building. You already know what time it is. Uh, let me put in. We're going to post this thing on the uh, on the YouTube right now as well. You already know what time it is. Uh, let me see. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. It's a lot of stuff going on right now in the YouTube world. A lot of stuff going on in the sneaker world as we speak. I hope everybody's having a good day so far. Let me let me see something. What the fuck is going on? Yo, God. Forgive me for this, guys. We're getting ready. We're going to get ready. We're going to make sure to get this whole hour out for y'all. Mm. Tony, you need to try the Impossible Burgers from White Castle. Unfortunately, my brother, we do not have White Castle in Atlanta. So we cannot do that. We have Crystals out here. And believe it or not, Crystals is one of my favorite spots to eat at. So shout out to Crystals. 
But you see the Tyler Day can Jordan. I'm not even gonna talk. Let me let me get my shit together. I ain't trying to waste no time. My bad. Next time I come back, next time I, the next time I come on from now on, on these streams, I'm gonna have my shit together on deck. Cause I, I try to do stuff while I'm talking to y'all, and it, it don't it don't work that way. That ain't the best way to go about this. You know what I'm saying? It's not professional. And best believe every time y'all see me have a white tee, I'm gonna start putting on some different t-shirts. I always take a shower before I go live so I can feel fresh. You feel me? Yo, what the sneakers, man? Um, wanna give a huge shout out to you, homie. You are the top super chatter of the month. Um, now I accidentally resetted my session. So right now, 210 got kicked to the top one. But for the month of uh Last 30 days, you have donated 64 bucks, And I want to give a huge shout out to you, brother, for doing that. I appreciate that. I checked it out. You are, and in the last, and then in the month of July itself, you donated like $40. So, I just want to say thank you, sir. Half of that donations, though, was talking shit to me. Um, you know, talking shit about uh, my Lakers. But I appreciate it at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? But we don't, we don't you know, I appreciate it, but I don't at the same time. But deep down, I appreciate it. All right. Uh, we got that. We live on YouTube. We're live on the main channel. We in this thing. Shout out to Sandro. Shout out to Terrence Thurman. Shout out to Worst Nightmare. What the Sneakers. Shout out to goddamn Deadpool. Mark Mark. Shout out to motherfucking Wave Guy NYC. Corey Brooks. Adonis Kenzie. You already know what it is. Mark Mark in this thing. Motherfucking Heat Stroke in this bitch. Edward Young in this thing. The Dark Prince off in this thing. And uh, yeah, you already know what time it is, man. I appreciate everybody off in this Bit. You feel me though? Um, are y'all fucking with this music playing underneath me? I just don't like that quietness. I like a little bit of little some some. Is it too loud though? I don't know what's going on with it. Matter of fact, I can just low key. I can just bring that bitch down, like, and I can just yeah. We can we can just do it like that. Bam! There we go. So shout out to everybody in Cali, man. East Coast, West Coast, old boogie in this bitch. You already know what Cat Talk Central off in this hole. You already know what it is, man. Eric X O Jerry Uguska, what you know what I'm saying? Fear Zuri in this thing. We got the Heineken on deck, ready to pop off to you know whoever want to drop the first donut. We are gonna pop that off. But right now we are gonna drink some Pepsi. Today's video is sponsored by Pepsi. Not really. We got Pepsi. We got a water to wash it down with. There we go. Wave God. We're going to pop this one open for you, my brother. Always on deck, Wave God. Appreciate it. First things, though, first, man. Let's get into the talk, the topics of discussion today. And that is Ooh, woo, popping on, on a handstand. Hand Nike just revealed to us their new. Whoa, why, why, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't like that. Why did it? Did it swipe? Oh, no, I didn't do it. Boom. Okay, my bad. Nike just revealed to us the new Nike Joyride. You feel me? They revealed this to us. Uh, new cushioning, a bean bag for your feet. Looks 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 extremely familiar to what Puma has done recently with the energy beads, and then also very similar to what Adidas has been doing for the past five years with Boost. Um, retail 180 bucks, so we do know this is a very fashion forward type of thing. You feel me? It's uh, something that is greatly uh, how can I say this innovative. If they're going to be charging us $180 for it. Um, let's get a little look into a fusion of the most supportive leg, Air, and React. Nike is set to bring one of their most innovative cushioning systems. <laughs> That's from the Pepsi. For, give me. The Joyride. As fitting as a fitting moniker as any, the performance gear kit. We're not, I'm not going to read all this shit, man. You see it here, man. The beads are in there, man. The Joyride. This is how it looks from underneath. And this is where... It looks weird to me. You know? This is what Puma had dropped a while back. Um, their energy bead system. Very similar as far as what it's trying to achieve. Uh, you know, Puma was apparently the first to actually bring boost as we know it. Oh, look at that. That was the Energy Beats Fusion. I actually have a review on that as well. That's, I think, that's Seth Fowler's picture. But I have a video somewhere out there in the streets. But apparently Puma, or they had the they had the opportunity to use it, and they did it, and then Adidas took it. And that's why, 
you know, that happened. Puma, new boost, what you think? I don't know if that's real or not. Puma, I guess this is. You know, I mean, the energy beats. Shout out to Tops World in this thing, man. You already know what time it is. I appreciate that. Bless you. Bless you too, my brother. Thank you for that for that uh, two dollar man. You already know what it is, man. But we got this boost system. I'm really wondering. I mean, my main question, after all, the shoe itself doesn't look good, like doesn't look bad at me. Obviously, it doesn't look good. It doesn't look bad. I mean, this looks like a pretty decent shoe. I'm definitely going to cop this shoe because I feel like this shoe is going to be a shoe if I can get my hands on it as soon as possible and review it. It's going to get at least a hundred k at least at least. This is like a five hundred thousand views video. This is something new. This is going to be a shoe that it don't matter where you're from, black, white, Asian, whatever, you're going to buy this shoe. And for that reason, whoever gets that first review out, who's going to probably end up being Seth Fowler, is going to be the one that's going to uh, enjoy this, the, 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 the blessings of how many people watch out and look at it. Shout out to RX Kakano, man. You already know what it is. What's good, Top World, Stefan McDonough. You already know what it is, man. I just want to know, though, like, what you guys' thoughts on this shoe in general? Do you think it's too late? Like, is a Nike too late? Are they, are they too far behind to be trying to come in with this type of technology? Or is it something that's going to move forward the cushioning technology? Like, basically, Adidas is starting to wrap it up. Like, we, we, we've we experienced the boost. We're still going to buy the boost, but we experienced it. Now Nike's going to take that and go to the next step further with it. Is it that? Is it like, bro, this is like late? Like Ooh, you know what I'm saying? Pussy yes, sir. Pussy popping on a handstand. But that's my main thing. Is it going to continue it on? Can it compete with Boost? What do you guys think? You know, I want to hear what some of you guys got to say about this down below. Are the balls packed into the air pocket or is that is there a room where they move around? I believe this is more so packed. I don't think they're moving around. But you got right here air ventilation. So when you're stepping, the air's like, you know, it's it's giving it cushion. It's not like going to pop on you or some shit. But I do feel like they're packed. I don't feel like they're just like moving around and shit. If they're moving around, that's definitely going to like get annoying because you're going to feel that shit. Uh, J Jermaine, Jermaine, Jermaine knows. I don't think they're late. It's better to be late than never. I, I definitely... Uh, agree on that. I feel like people will still buy it. It's not too. It's better late than never, like you said. But to cash in and, and, and create that this shoe, I don't see this shoe being like the next thing for Nike that like continues on. Like I don't see it like you know how like Air Max is still air to this day. You got Adidas Boost. Adidas Boost will always be Adidas Boost. I don't see like Joyride going out like. 15 years from now, they're doing Joyride still. Like, I don't th I don't feel like this is the next thing after air. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just feel like they could have made a bigger impact if they would have went with this probably back five years ago. But, you know, I still think it's going to be dope. So, what, man, what the fuck? I mean, some of this music. What What is this music, bro? It's playing, like, some crazy music. Y'all hear that shit? It's playing some fucking techno, man. I need like some motherfucking, yeah, I just need trap music, only trap music, come on. Shit. Nike will do well because those folks who don't want to rock boost will have Nike form of boost. Understood. Definitely Sneaker Queen. That's definitely true. That's definitely true. Yeah, I think the shoe tech can compete with Boost. The Presto's had a good soul, and I think this is better than the old Presto. Adidas Boost and Presto is way more comfortable. Yeah, Adidas, Adidas is like... There's nothing right now that's comparable to Boost, and maybe this might be, that Nike's making. The Nike Vapor Max, definitely comfortable. I wouldn't put it above Ultra Boost. The closest thing right now to me that's close to Adidas Boost as far as comfort right now is the React. And that's a very cheap shoe too. It's like $150. I don't think that uh, the Presto, like you said, it's old, it's old, but it's, it's very... It's very uh, comfortable. It's just not advanced enough. Vapor Max, the bod, the pods, and all that. It's new. Um, it's dope. Ooh, and that we'll see. Shout out to Toss World once thing. again. I think Nike is super advanced in the technology of the sneaker game. Definitely, definitely true on that. So I mean, they, ha I, I, I have, I have some hopes for this. I mean, I'm, I'm like I said, I'm gonna grab a pair. I would love to see them just do more. Like I don't like this is called the Joyride Cushioning Beanbag. 
So I'm pretty sure this is not going to be called, this shoe is not going to be called the Joyride. This is just the type of tech it's in it. Um, let me see, I, I was looking at this earlier and it was showing other sh other models. Nike Joyride run flat, and it's like this one. Nike Joyride. So if this is called, like if this whole model is called Joyride, it's going to throw people off. I think they need to just call this tech Joyride and call this shoe something else. Because that way they can keep putting in this joyride in different type of models and different type of shoes. But even this one, this model looks, this model I like a lot. It's weird to some of you guys, but I, I can, I just like a zipper. I, I can get jiggy with this. I think this might be a women's sneaker though only. Let me see. Like I said, I want to get my hands on some of this stuff. I would love for Nike to hit me, hit your boy up. Champ, somebody send me a pack of this ASAP. TPEBs for performance sake. <clears throat> so, and then this one right here. That's this one is dope. August 15. I'm gonna cop that. I'm gonna cop this one, okay? I'm copping this shoe. I'm I'm copping that. That's that shit is fire. That shoe is fucking fire. It looks like another shoe I'm trying to think of right now. It reminds me of some shoe that I know. I don't remember what shoe it is. I don't know what shoe this looked like. This looked like something else, though. Yeah, this, this shoe fire, bro. This shoe is fire. I'm sorry. I don't give a fuck. The way it's designed, the, po the pods in here. I'm trying to think about what shoe this looks like, though. August 15th, I'm copping, nigga. This looks like the fucking... It was a Nike shoe or it might be Adidas shoe. Hold on, hold on. It's a shoe, bro. I know the shoe. It, it looked like a certain shoe. But the shoe that it looked like, I don't think I like it that much. Come on, man. I know what it is. Nah. Come on, y'all. It's something. It's something. It's something. I want to think of it. Guys, it's some shoe. Satan models, I'll look them up on that down below. <sighs> Excuse me. Nah. This right here look like something, bro. Is it a Y3? Yeah, penny, penny straight dropping. Fuck, man. It's a shoe, bro. You know what? I think it might be the Y3. It's kind of like that. That's what it is. And that, this is the shoe I own. I think it's like uh, the, the 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 Y3 type of swag. That's what I'm feeling. That's maybe what it is what I'm feeling. Who said Y3? Type uh, Titanium. Yeah, you might be right, bro. That might be what's going on right there. That might be it. I it. Maybe it's even another model. Like, it's just like them pods and shit. Y'all keep saying the KD eleven. Nah, 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 nah. That, that ain't the shoe. I think it's the. I think it's like this the this shit that's fucking with me. And I know it, it can't be It can't be the tubular, right? Not this tubular. I'm talking about the old tubular too, like the OG tubular. The OG one. The one bull reviewed back in the day. Like this one. But nah, that ain't I remember when them dropped, bro. When these dropped, niggas went crazy. Yeah, bro, these were the shit. They went, and, they went and died. But I man, bro, I was all in the tubulars, man. I was all in the tubulars, like, like these right here. These shit look ugly to me now. My mind, my the trends, man. They don't look ugly, but look, that's me. The bitches do look clean right there. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's actually my video right there. But anyways, yeah, man, these are dope. I'm getting these hoes. I'm getting these right here. Woo! Them bitches clean. I'm going to finesse the 
fuck out of them. They look weird, but I'm gonna get them. So August fifteenth. Let's look at the sneaker release dates real quick. Let me go to August fifteenth. That's next month. Shout out to Sandro, man. What up, Tony? Just subscribe. Appreciate that, my brother. Appreciate them subscriptions, man. You already know what it look. You know, you know what time it is. Puma Jam and Cushion. Air Max 729, not the 720, not the 720. Hold on, so wait. We're, we're Air Max, we, in, we, in, we gotta finish July. <clears throat> Do y'all hear that music? Is it low, like a nice ambient low? Let me know. Oh, these hot, these hot too, though. I just want to see it pop up. I want to see this any like everything's dropping in. So these are the Joyride Fly Knits. Run the Joyride Run Fly Knit. That's the ones that, that that's those are all the ones that are dropping. They ain't got the other one that we were just talking about. Though. I don't see it. I don't fucking know. So let me see. Let me see. See what else is going on. Nike news. This is from Nike's news. Excuse me. Joy, Nike Joyride joins Nike Air and Nike Nike Joyride joins Nike Air and Nike React as the latest proprietary innovative innovation within the company's diverse array of cushioning platforms. So they're saying that. Okay, so they're saying this is supposed to be the shit. I, earlier I said I don't see this being like Air or being like React. I said that. They're telling us that this is it. This is something new. Air, React. Now they're bringing the Joyride. And this is more expensive than React. So they're, they're putting a lot into this, apparently. Joyride is engineered to help keep legs fresh by delivering a personalized underfoot experience with great impact absorption, absorption and a surprisingly light energy returning package. The particulars. The Nike Joyride is, Nike only, is a Nike only proprietary cushioning system made of thousands of TPE beads. These beads are placed within zonal tune pods which allows the foam to expand in all directions we can we call this multi-dimensional displacement the pods scales so all right so this is a it looks as if it's only in the hill but you can see here this is the whole fucking shoe i mean these pods are all in there I wonder how this is going to feel on foot. You know? These are hard looking though. Y'all like these? Give me some flames in the chat. Give me some flames in the chat or a garbage a garbage can if you ain't fucking with these. You feel me? Shout out to Cruising Dread in this thing. You already know what it is, man. Appreciate you, bro. I don't think the BYW is the shoe. This the kids Nova. Chris NYC. How about this one, Chris? You you, you still ain't fucking with this one? The, man, I'ma fuck with these. I'ma fuck with these. I'm getting this one for sure though. Like I'ma grab that bitch. Just like I grabbed the Model Beckham's, I'm grabbing this shoe right here. This one right here looks nice too, but it's a little crazy. So this is all new Nike shit. Oh, come on. They ain't like no damn chef shoes. What? Chef shoes? You know what the fuck chef shoes look like, bro. Janitor. Jupers. I might have put that in for the first time. I ain't never... That, that, that's my name. These what janitor shoes, chef shoes, and janitor shoes look like. These right here. Where they at? These motherfuckers right here with the fat ones. Where they at? These motherfuckers. This one, man. Ain't not felines, though. Right there. There you go. Lunch Lady Sugar Cookies, nigga. <laughs> they call them Lunch Lady Sugar Cookies, bro. Yeah, but that ain't, that don't, that, these ain't nothing near what you just saw on Nike. Them bitches been goddamn. You baked about 50 cakes in them motherfuckers. God damn. And then they got those nurse shoes that got applesauce on the bottom of them. Y'all don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm going to show y'all something. Them nurse shoes. 
uh, they look kind of like this. And then the soles are like, hold on, I'm going to show y'all. Y'all know them nerd. I know we all topic, but shit, we just talking today. I wish I could show you. They probably ain't going to be able to find them, bro. The nurse, they're, they're them nurse shoes. And on the bottom, that shit like applesauce. I can't look anything else up, man. I'm gonna find, I'm gonna end up searching something, and some weird shit gonna happen. But yeah, man, that's what's going on with that. You know, so I'm looking forward to this. At first, I was like, I tweeted out that I thought that Nike was a little too late, but come to find out, you know, they're never really too late. At the end of the day, they they, they could do their thug dizzle. PSG's dropping. I'm not looking forward to it. Fibas, I ain't even know this. This is something new. You look fugazi, fugazi. I'm straight on those. I can't get with the these. T all this shit's dead to me. All that's dead. Everything in July is dead. Um, August, cool grays. We already picked those up, so we good. I like these though. I like these. I'll cop these. Maybe flip them though. But I'll cop them. I'll probably cop them. Whether I keep them, I don't know. This is another women's shoe though, so I don't know. FIBA 12s as a cop. To review and then throw away Knicks threes, possibly these. Some a lot of y'all like these. I can't fuck with that, man. I can't fuck with that. Can't fuck with that. I ain't hate on the PSGs. I just I had a pair of fives and they just they just not. I don't know, man. I mean, I might pick them up, but I ain't really. I'm not stressing. Like I don't know if I'm gonna wake up and try to get them type shit. You know, I, I'm not really too worried about that. I'm not like I'm not worried. I'm not worried about getting them. I'm not stressed about getting them, you know. But they get in my hands, they fall in my hands, and I'll do what I gotta do. You feel me? Sticker Goose got a video of four pairs of them Joy Rise Tactic already. Well, Jason, I already took the L then already. Then that means if I do the video on me, shit. Yeah, they alright. They not a must cop. They definitely not a must cop for me. I, I'm not going out my way. I'm not going out my way to get those uh, sixes. You know, that that's just that's just straight up. Jordans are honestly dead unless it's hyped collab or an OG or damn D a classic. But at this point, there's not that many more classics left. They pretty much. I mean, the classics now are the tier two shoes that I was talking about. The secondary colorways that we still waiting on, the green beans and shit. But all this other shit, you know, they dropping the breads this year. Next year, they'll probably drop the cool grays. After that, I don't know what you want me to do anymore. I can't drop, like, I can't keep, I'm starting to get, like, I don't know. I'm starting to get, like, damn, I, I, I just don't even be caring, you know, I don't even be, be tripping about it. I sold them there. All my Jordans, I only have like 30 pairs of J's. You can't just say I only have 30 pairs. That don't, that don't, that don't sound right, D. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm picking up 2K. So, peek this, right? Um, I'm actually going to be, after this live stream, we're going to, I'm probably going to continue on this channel with gaming. I'm going to continue gaming on this channel. So, if you want to stay, stay tuned after the live stream, I'll probably just continue it on, on here. So you guys can come pull up, can chop it up with me over, uh, you know, on that shit as well. And uh, we'll continue the gaming. But I'm going to be getting 2K20. You already know. I always end up getting Madden even though I don't play it. I just get it. And then, like, I waste my money every year on Madden hoping that will be just as good. I'm just not really into football right now. Like, I, I probably used to be in football and not being. Alexa, turn on lamps. I used to be in football, but I wasn't in. I wasn't into um, basketball. Now I'm in basketball. I don't really care for football anymore. I've talked about this several times already, but. I'm just not into that Madden and shit. I'm shit. We were talking about that the other day, how, you know, I wish they could drop ESPN 2K20, man. What the Snickers, you don't understand. You don't know who you're looking at, y'all. You're looking at a legend in 2K, all right? Real talk. You can talk what you want, but I'm a fucking legend, bro. Straight up. My teams in Madden back in the day were the Eagles. That's the thing about Madden. You could... In Madden, bro, like, you can win with any team. You can win with any team in Madden. It's not like 2K where, like, one team, you, you motherfucker, you got, you playing with the motherfucking, uh, 
you playing with like the weakest team. I don't, I'm thinking of somebody Magic, and you playing against Golden State. Like you can, you can, you, you getting your ass whooped more than likely. On um, Madden, you can get a bad team and still whoop somebody ass. If you just know how to play with them niggas. Shout out to Re, shout out to Regal on this thing. You already know what it is, man. Wait, God, let's talk about the ASAP Rocky case. I'm going. We about to get into that. I'm about. We at the 30 minute mark. We gonna get into that. We gonna get into that. Hold on. We they talking about this Madden. Ooh, that but I appreciate that we on that handstand. Hand you already know what it is. So I'm gonna be on 2K20. I'm gonna be on Madden, maybe, possibly. Uh, and I'm waiting on motherfucking Call of Duty. And hopefully, when Call of Duty comes, it sticks. Cause Call of Duty for the past couple years has been dropping, but it don't stick. You know, I got play it every once in a while, but it ain't like still playing it. Like right now, I'm on that motherfucking Apex Legends, and I don't know why, but I'm been on Apex. That shit got me addicted. And I, I don't know. I don't know. I think I, Call of Duty is like right there in the sweet spot. It's almost there, bro. It's still a little too futuristic for me. But it's right there. It's like 20. See, we're in 20. We might be in 2022. Um, Call of Duty's like the way that shit looking. It's shit looking like 20. It's looking 2030 type shit. You know, I need that 2020 vision straight up. You got to bring me. You need to bring me to current day. If I go to Iraq. And I'm busting, nigga. I want the gun that that I don't want no fucking shit that I don't even know name. You know these names of some of these guns and the bullets that come out of them and shit. I don't be knowing some of that shit. Some of that shit doesn't look a little too crazy for me. I need that real deal, Holyfield shit. Oh yeah, nine on one, Ron. We gonna be on that apex after this, so you stay you stay with me. You feel me? You stay with me. Exactly. I, I I haven't gravitated to PUBG. Hey, and I'm telling you that I hate futuristic stuff. But yeah, I'm playing Apex. It's a difference, though. Apex ain't futuristic. Apex is more fantasy, if anything. It's more like an Overwatch. It's more like a little bit like a... It's a little bit like a like like Fortnite, but it, it's... Nah, nigga, you getting your ass murk in Apex, nigga. You get your ass murk. Rainbow Six, perfect. Current day, current guns... Everything is real. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I'm fucking with. You feel me? So, yeah. I'm fucking with that. And, and hey, ja Jaquin Goodwin, Jaquan Goodwin, that's exactly what I want. No futuristic, nigga. Straight, straight up. You know, I want to see guns that I can go buy right now. I want to play Call of Duty and be busting a motherfucking a, uh, chopper or busting a pistol. I'm like, damn, I like how this shit feel. I'm going to go buy a real one. I want to do that. I don't want to go... Shoot a fucking laser beam and shit and not know what I'm doing. Yo, Gary, I'm thinking about it, man. I, I, I honestly was thinking about going to get, buying a Glock. I've been thinking about getting a Glock 19. It was between a Glock 19 and that uh, Glock 45, I think what it was. Was it the Glock 45? I was just looking at it the other day. One carry 17, one carry 15, but... Cause I got right now I got something small, but I wanted to get, I wanted this I wanted to get a Glock. I just wanted to get one. I, I I fired one much before. After that, I'm pretty good. I don't I don't need I don't I don't I don't need like crazy stuff. But I just do want a Glock, and I want something like just normal. The shit I got is weird. It's not weird, but I just want. I don't know. I'm just being difficult. The G45 though. Yeah, this is the one right here. Seven. Yep, seventeen. Glock 45 or a Glock 19, you know. It's one of them I'm gonna, I need to try out. I need to get one of them off. I got right now MP Shield. It's pretty cool, but I was I don't know. It's just I don't know. I'm being difficult. Yeah, 19x. <sighs> we'll figure it out. G Fish in the building. What's going on, G Fish? Go flow. DR702. You already know Elvis. It was good, man. Michael Stanhope. You already know. Adam Bay. You you don't know what the hell you talking about, buddy. You don't even, you you sound lost. You might you you sound lost. What about NBA Jams coming back? Wait, wait, what? Who said that? Who said that? What? Who said NBA Jams is coming back? Ooh, yeah, you, you made me look up on the internet right now. You you try you, you talking. Well, 901 Ron, I will take I take that. 
I like I, I, I hey, you saying that make me think I'm pretty good then. I don't know. I see I don't got I don't know that many people that got that. I got the but I got the um the MP shield uh what's it called? Cuz it's the small one, the, the the concealed one. It ain't like the cuz there's the MP shield and then the MP shield Let me see. MP shield and then it's like an MP shield compact. Uh, maybe I'm tripping. MP Shield 2.0. That's what I got. Yeah, okay. Maybe it's just a shield. There's another one that's a bigger version. I forgot the name of it, though. It's like a bigger version of that one. Yeah, they need to bring back NBA Streets, man. You already know. But, <sighs> let's go ahead and move on to the next thing, man. Nah, it ain't the compact thing. Yeah, whatever one is the smaller one. I think that's the. I think the compact one's the bigger one, right? Let me see. Yeah, okay. It's the MP compact and then the MP shield. The MP comp. The MP compact is the bigger one. The MP shield is the smaller one. Correct. Yeah, yeah. I think that's it. I'm looking at it. I got the shield though. I got the small guy. The compact, I think, is like the bigger version. The shield is that waist, you know, that one you got. Shout out to iHeart for the one dollar in that thing. You already know what it is, man. A deagle, nigga. You need me to tell you? I ain't, nigga. I'm not trying to break my motherfucking wrist. Shit. So I'm gonna keep this real. Sp Quick on this video, this visual, cause you know what I'm saying. But TMZ just reported, you know, a couple days. Well, this has been out for about. It was okay with a, a. This was today, but I already knew you already knew that you know ASAP Rocky's been locked up for about like a week now, maybe even two weeks. He beat up some dude. We we did a little we did a live stream about that not that long ago, uh, and it was like, you sure it was smaller? Not no one. Well, damn, because the one that they the the shield is even. I don't know, I gotta look it up, bro. The one I got, I think it got it got eight in it or nine too. I got the extended extended on it. It came with both though. One got seven and the other one got nine or something. And it's not double stacked. But ASAP Rocky Trowood Assault remaining in Sweden jail. If you, if you guys remember we did a live stream about this uh like, like a week ago, two weeks ago. My headphone, my headphone, you remember that? My headphone, my headphone, my headphone. My headphone, my headphone. You remember we were saying that all? My headphone, 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 my headphone. I know it sounds annoying, but yeah, I'm gonna slide through it because I don't want TMZ clapping. But I just want to hear that. My headphone. Hey, stop. Why stop? Go away. My headphone, my headphone, my headphone, my headphone, my headphone. So yeah, these guys came and ASAP Rocky put the United States ass whooping on him in Sweden. Ooh, that you know, pussy popping on uh, the shout out to iHeart once again for the 99, uh, 99 donation. I guess they not used to ass whoopings out there in Sweden, you know. So ASAP had to do so, um, put the hands on him. Woo, threw that nigga like a rag doll. But they didn't have to jump him though. See, my main thing about everything was like. ASAP Rocky, bro. You hiring security. You got entourage. These niggas are supposed to be the ones doing this shit and taking that charge. Not you. Fucker, you out here fighting on niggas. Now you locked up. If you somebody valuable and people, everybody eats because of you, why would you go and risk yourself and do such thing? You know what I'm saying? Now you stuck. Now the whole team ain't eating. You know what I'm saying? Now everybody messed up because of that. So... I know it's easier said than done. It was in the heat of the moment more than likely. So, you know, I, I can't say how he felt at the time. It's easier for me to say it from sitting in my room right now, calm as ever, and not having somebody come up to me. My headphone, my headphone, my headphone, my headphone, like for like an hour long, you know. But you got this big ass motherfucker right here just telling him to back up. And I don't even know where he's at in this scene. Oh, there he is. It looked like he tried to stop them, honestly. It seemed like he tried to stop them. I don't know, but I mean. Hey, 
But his team failed him on this one a little bit, man. They failed him a little bit. You know, they were protect. This team failed him. He shouldn't be locked up. He, they should have taken care of that. They should have kept him out of it. And now he's locked up, you know, and he's in Sweden. We don't know these Sweden. They don't play. There's like graphics. The dude's pressing charges. He's been in jail for two, uh, two weeks and he expects trial in three days. These countries out here are different, bro. You know, this assault, he could get off on probation in the US, United States, possibly. You know what I'm saying? And these other, and these other countries, these motherfuckers be doing time. You know what I'm saying? Like. Time, time. Bro, I remember I asked somebody. Let me just show y'all this, right? Bro, if you get caught with goddamn a blunt in China, they will goddamn put you in jail for like a million years, nigga. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what is what what it was, bro. I remember I asked, man. I asked, I asked somebody, man. Ooh, what the hell? that pussy! Shout out to motherfucking head, I Heart man. again, man. What's going on? Shout out to Way God in this thing too, man. Shout out to I Heart and Way God. They going back to back with that one thing. Tops World also in this thing. You already know what it is, man. How illegal? I want y'all to see this, man. In recent memory, there was a long-term Aussie who got caught growing a lot in his apartment and amazingly was de just deported in a short time. That's amazing, dude. He's lucky as hell. He just got deported in a sh after a short stint in jail. You know the death penalty is handled out quite lax for drugs in China. I don't know what's all this stuff, but yeah. like I've heard like in China... Look, American facing death penalty in China for cannabis distributed distribution released. So, like, you know, like, we be tripping about, like, fed time. You get locked up for a pound. You get in a felony. Nigga, you get caught with motherfucking marijuana in, in China. They're going to kill you. What do you mean they don't have it? What, the sneakers? This nigga about to die. You talking about they don't have it. In some places in China, you can get the death penalty for as few as two counts of drug trafficking. They have zero tolerance. I think my like let my uh my iRobot is downstairs cleaning. I'm not hearing like mm -hmm. yeah, but like you know, so uh yeah okay we I I make just explain it to you guys. My bad we got caught up there right, but like that's what's going on in these other countries. They don't play that shit. So Sweden, Sweden uh assault, salt laws. Trying to see like what you know what you get faced with assaults. <clears throat> Assault jail time Sweden. You get your head blown back for from for from smoking weed in China, bro. So if you're ever coming out to China, man. I remember, I think Teddy went to China or something he was doing. Or he maybe was in Japan. I don't know how he do it, bro. Fuck that, nigga. Ooh, that pussy popping on a handstand. Same thing almost happened to Future Overseas. Was that was that 69? 60, uh, God damn it. Forgive me, Future. Forgive me, Future. 56 Nights. That was That's what that was about, right? Didn't uh, DJ Esco uh, get caught with? Was that what he got caught with? 
where he, and that's why the Fifty Six Nights and uh, the, the mixtape dropped and all that. So he can look at a, mi a minimum, a maximum of two years for this shit, man. Trump out. We got Trump out here trying to do something too, though, man. But it's looking pretty bad, man. Looking pretty crazy, man. The, the, the thing is, like, we don't got control over there. Trump can't do a goddamn thing, nigga. Once you in their country, nigga, they can do. You ain't stealing your own people back, man. Oh. It was in Dubai. Yeah, they probably got a. Yeah, and then they. He lost all that music, right? You don't think Trump did nothing? He said we're going to reach out. We do so much for Sweden, but it doesn't seem to work the other way around. Sweden should focus on his real crime problem. Free Rocky Trump wrote. Let's see. what I want to know what Rocky going to say when he get out. Is he going to say thanks, Trump? This should just be a lesson to these rappers out here, man. If y'all got security, man, let the security do the work. Because at the least thing, right, this is what would have happened. If that big dude just beat the fuck out those kids, right, you know what would have happened? They would have just sued ASAP Rocky. That's all they would have did. They could, sue, they could sue him for getting beat up. That's what they usually do is the motherfuckers will sue your ass. And then ASAP would just pay him and settle out in court. The, the security guard probably would be the one doing time, though. So, I mean, somebody got to do it, but shit, that's what you pay for. <laughs> Some people get paid to do that shit, to sit and hold a pistol or, or knock a nigga out. That's what people get paid for. Rocky shouldn't be doing that, though. Yeah, I mean, no, yeah, Trump Trump technically can't do anything and didn't do anything. If he did, it would have been solved already. I don't think he could do anything, though. Like you said, there's nothing he can really do. Like, what what can he really do when you think about it? He can't do shit, except for tell, except for tell him like, yo, can you get my nigga out? And then after that, like, nah, you can't. Then okay, he just gotta remember that shit when they need us, you know. But it ain't looking too good for him, man. You know, uh, hopefully, hopefully it gets settled. But I don't know what's going on. That dude just wanted his iPhone, his headphones. This shit crazy though. Sweden got issues that need to be dealt with that they're not dealing with. Exactly. That's where the 56 nights in Dubai and DJ Esco had a hard, had the hard drive and Future had to make the whole new songs because DJ Esco had a hard drive and those new, new songs were supposed to go on the 56 nights mixtape. Yeah, exactly. I'm about to look on TMZ real quick, see what some new news going on real quick. Jordan Woods, they got Jordan Woods. I'm about to, we're going to just look at this shit real quick. I, I, I'm, I'm not too into all this bullshit but since we on tmz we got why are you lying jordan ones if you're going to try and save yourself go go and plug instead calling me privately to part at first this was in march she parts with james harden heavy into seconds these girls even looking for looking golden at white house brings daughter and grandma for private tour Jersey Shore Danica reveals the situation post prison plans. The situation's in jail now? I know I heard about that tax shit, but is he actually locked up right now? It's fabulous splits with Emily B. Launches, lunches with Mystery Chick. Oh, yeah, I remember that shit. I could lose my kid. Make sure MT cameras are rolling. What the fuck is going on? This shit is wild, bro. My we're 10, 10 years of marriage. Let's celebrate. This is, I'm feeling like a man, Mason Murder House sold to Ghost Adventure star Zach Baggins. Damn, nigga.
Bro, Marilyn Manson lived in a motherfucking... Oh, this is the house that they got they got murked in. Okay, never mind. I'm about to say they lit Marilyn Manson lived in that shit. What the fuck? <laughs> what about yeah, well, what about that Diddy R. Kelly shit? What are you talking about, Big Give? Diddy I know Diddy was spot with uh Steve Harvey's daughter, right? Yeah, I heard about that two way God. Take a picture was on the newspaper talking about Rocky's case. That was a big fuck up. Trump talked to the Prime Minister, and the Prime Minister told him to kick rocks. Mark, Mark. My headphone, my headphone, my headphone, my headphone, my headphone, my, my, my headphone, my, my headphone, my headphone, my, 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 my headphone, my, my headphone, my headphone. Shit. Woo! I remember this guy dying. Hold on. I remember seeing this, I feel like, recently. His wife murked him? Facilitating the murder of his... Damn. Shira Wright and a male friend, Billy Turner, attended the same church. Cut a deal where she agreed to plead guilty of facilitation of murder and facilitation to commit. She got 30 years, but will be eligible for parole after nine. Man, get the fuck out of here, dog. You get me murked, bitch, and you get nine years? God damn, man. These hoes ain't loyal out here. 34 years old when he got murked, man. Sheesh. I didn't think TK was getting out, bro. I didn't, I knew TK wasn't getting out. Nah, but nah. Mm -mm. You got to think about, look, look, man. First and foremost, let me tell you why TK ain't. Let me tell you something about Tony D, right? I watch a lot. Of first 48. If y'all niggas watched me, y'all probably seen first 48 playing in the background a couple times. I watched that shit like that's the only thing I watch on TV. Besides that, I'm watching YouTube. I watch first 48 all goddamn day. I play that bitch in the background, nigga. I'm playing that bitch in the background, nigga. Do you know how many times motherfuckers be like, man, he ran up on me and I. I, I was just trying to run and the gun just went off. It's like they be the guy was he was trying to swing at me when he swung at me, he hit my hand and my finger bobbed and I, it was an accident. It's okay, son. It's okay. It's okay. You, you didn't mean to do it. You didn't mean to do it. Sometimes this thing happened. I didn't mean to kill him. It was I was scared. It was an accident. It's okay, son. It's okay. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. It's okay, son. It's okay. I'll be right back. Sir, stand up. Put your hands behind your back. You're under jail for being arrested for murder. Let's go. Every time. Every time. Every time. I went in there with them boys and them niggas. I was just trying to rob them. They, they the one that shot them. They shot that nigga. I, I didn't want to get my money back, you know. I, they shot him. I didn't shoot him. The gun, I didn't even have a gun on me. I had motherfucking pliers in my hand. Oh, it's okay. You you a good man. You told him, hey, you you don't have to live with that in your chest no more. You didn't pull the trigger. You don't have to live with that on your chest no more. Good man. I'm gonna step out real quick. I gotta go get a. I'm gonna get you a coke. All right, you want a coke? You want a cigarette? Right? You be like, yeah, I want a cigarette. They walk out. Sir, put put your hand on your back. Wait, put. He gonna bring your coat. Here's your cigarette. 
Oh my God, man. Every time, bro. Y'all know it. Y'all can laugh, but y'all know how that shit is. I see it all the time. Yeah. You don't got to live with it. Come, come on, Jimmy. Jimmy, talk to me. I know you know. Jimmy, you can live your rest of your life now. You did a good deed, Jimmy. But you about to do 50 years, though, Jimmy. <laughs> I'm just saying that you know the roles, bro. I seen that shit. That's every motherfucking time. Every time. <laughs> ASAP is in custody to trial because there's a chance that he will flee the country if released. I didn't think about it that way, Damon. Because, I mean, like, if we if he flee the country and come back here, right, like, the U.S. ain't going to give a fuck, right? We don't give a fuck about that, do we? Because it's not that big of a deal. Like, we want to give a fuck. He would just never be he would just never be able to he would never be able to perform in Sweden again, right? Pretty much. Which I mean, that's not like nigga like if I was being, if I was told right now, Tony, you can never go to Sweden, I mean I'm I'm not gonna lose any sleep about that, you know. We have to do something about that? I mean, possibly, yeah. I mean, Chapo, that nigga's in the, in the United States right now. We don't even, we didn't even give Chapo back to his own country. We don't even trust giving him back to his own country. We was like, man, y'all niggas had that nigga two times. Let we keeping him now. <laughs> y'all niggas can't keep him. We we keeping Chapo. Y'all, we don't trust y'all niggas with y'all own people, bro. Cause that nigga keep ending up out. We gonna take care of Chapo. <laughs> Yeah, man, make sure everybody hit that like button on the stream, though. We got 125 people in here. We just chopping it up today. We kind of just went off topic, as always. But I appreciate you guys sticking with me. Because, shit, once we went off topic, everybody off anything, man. The view's looking good. Shout out to Wade Guy. Shout out to goddamn Wade Guy, man. Wade Guy came in today. 246. Came through with the $6 on this thing. 246. We got motherfucking Tops World came through. Tops World came through with, 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 uh, with, uh, uh, seven. Seven. Got them, and my heart came through with two dollars. Also, man, I appreciate all the donations, man. These do these donations make me make me want to go lie every goddamn day. Not because not because it make money, because I mean, in day money matters, but it, it it I could take time away from doing my YouTube videos to just doing my lives too. Like, there's been several days where I just went live and I didn't drop an actual video. So, and then also it allows me to to look at content. That's the biggest thing. It, believe it or not, it allows me to be able to look at shit and I have to worry about getting copyright claims and shit like that. Like, we could watch anything, listen to anything, because usually all this shit, get, like, all my videos been getting claimed recently anyway, and now we don't have to worry about that. But, hey, on another note, off topic, right? Off topic, off topic. But I, let me know what y'all guys think about this, right? I'm going to throw some shit at y'all real quick. Speaking of, like, we could do what the fuck we want type shit. Hold on. We're gonna pause the music real quick. This movie right here. I'm waiting. I'm waiting on I'm waiting on this movie, man. I'm waiting on this motherfucking movie right here. This movie look lit. Shout out to Way God once again, man. Um, Ooh, that pussy. What y'all think about this movie, dog? Handstand. This shit look crazy, man. Trigger I've ever pulled. The, the the how CGI work now is just phenomenal too. You? I gotta talk a little bit too. Birds, rabbit. This shit crazy. 19, 20 years old. The first time he ordered you to shoot a person. This shit is weird. Yeah, this gotta be hard. Ago, he took my blood. This shit gotta be hard, bro. If it's not a hard movie, from me. If this movie ain't hard, I, I don't know. They they, they made the best trailer ever made. I told you you were an orphan. And of all the people in the world to come after me, why would he send you? This ain't the best movie, man. I don't know what, man. It's gonna be crazy, bro. Ooh, I'm the best. You are obviously not the best. 
You're just trying to rattle me. I'm trying to save you. This shit look crazy though. When is shit released? I know it's oh, October, bet. You made a choice to do this to me. The whole point of this thing was to get you. <laughs> he look like Jaden Oni though. He's pain. I don't want to shoot you. He low key look. I mean, I know it's his daddy. Don't be stupid with the comments, y'all. I'm just saying he look like Jaden though. Henry, has this ever happened to you before? Your own government trying to kill you. He look like Jaden though. Ah, uh, that's new. Everything and Jaden's song too. Or is it stink? He has to die. He's your darkness. You had to walk through that. Yo, R.I.P. the uh, Atika, I man. You got the Atika you. cut, that little flat top. The old Will Smith look, too. That Fresh Prince look haircut. What we created. You were the inspiration for all of this. Why not just make a whole army full of them? Why not? You should be This shit look crazy. You should be dead. Woo! This has to be stopped. I'm going to be honest though, right? One of the best movies. Well, one of the movies that had one of the greatest trailers ever that didn't live up to it. And I, I like the movie. I like the movie a lot. I like, let me repeat. I like the movie a lot. I like the, I'm going to keep saying it because I need y'all to feel it. I like the movie a lot. I like the movie a lot. I like the movie a lot. However, it did not live well, up to, to what the trailer was about. The trailer made it like we about to live into another world. Woo! Shout out to motherfucking Way God once again for the two dollar tipster. Shout out to Ramen God in his thing with the ninety nine and the ninety nine. Two dollars on Ramen God. You already know what it is. And shout out to nine o one Ron. We rocking with you, Tony. I appreciate that, Ron. Thank you, sir. I appreciate all the donations. It means a lot. But the movie I'm talking about is motherfucking Ready Player One. Ooh, that pussy popping on the hand, hand When I saw Ready Player One, I thought that shit was about to be motherfucking some, like, number one movie on the top five, nigga. That shit was dope. But it just didn't hit like, it, like the trailer did, man. It didn't. What was the movie you were talking about yesterday on the live? What you talking about, Big Gib? What, what, can you describe it, Big Gib? Exactly, Darth Brolo. It didn't suck to me though, but it was it didn't it didn't live. It didn't live it. It didn't live. It didn't live what it was supposed to live by. It, it lived, but it didn't. That that trailer. I play. Her, I heart keep coming through with them twos like ah, ah, I ain't done yet. Shout out, I heart. He ain't. I ain't done yet. Sir, say I'm gonna start the car video soon, brother. My, uh, trust me, I, I got. I've been trying to balance everything. The first thing is, sir, say I gotta figure out somebody local. When I say local, like 15 minutes, I can go and get this shit done. But I need to get my my cars, my my tires is the first thing first, though. I got like I ain't got a couple more rides and them bitches till they gotta go. So I gotta find somebody I can trust. That's my main thing. I got two places. I just gotta have days off to go tr to hit them up. I need to I need to go to them first, talk to them. Let them know who I am. Let them know what I'm trying to do. If they agree to it, then I'm going to go. One thing for certain, that once these motherfuckers know that I do YouTube, they not going to mess up my car because they know whatever they mess up on, it's going to make they, they, them look bad. So that's what I'm, I'm going to throw, throw my YouTube clout on somebody. I'm going to be like, listen, I got a YouTube channel. I'm dropping videos. I want to record everything. And if you mess up my goddamn car, they ain't going to fuck with you. Crawl. Oh, you talking about snow in the bluff? You don't know what? What do you? He said he. What, you mean, uh, what are you talking about? Big kill. You never seen snow in the bluff? You never seen snow on the bluff? Come on, big kill. Who seen snow on the bluff in here, bro? Come on. Don't make me do it. I'll have to do it. Right? Snow on the bluff. Hey, what's going on? I see it in your face. I got the good stuff. All right, now. Cocaine, pills, whatever you want. Yeah, what are you trying for? I, I just have, like, I got five. Yeah, all right, all right, that's perfect. Okay. Um, so, you, so you want two eight ball, and you want the two, um, what's name, right? Well. Yeah, ten rolls. Yeah, yeah. ten rolls, ten ball. I can, I can yeah. try. Yeah, try this. Oh, shit! Oh, my God, my God, my God.
he don't believe it, right, boy. This motherfucker right here is yeah. stupid, that, boy. That, that stupid. I need, I need you want to take it for a spin? Boy, I got to. Man, that motherfucker, that, that's some of that high power shit, shout I know that motherfucker right there, cost, shout Yeah, 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 we don't do it, boy. I'm like, no matter what happened, boy, keep that motherfucker rolling. rolling. But don't never turn it off. Boy. No matter Ooh. what. That bitch trapped on the handstand. Where the hustle be a muscle and you trap for the rent. Yeah. Where the youngster get the blessing for the stacks that you get. Yeah. And the hustle game faster than the track star sprint. Yeah. He ain't my fault, man. Bush them tripping. Want to lock a nigga up when you trying to make a living. I be damned if I take a piece of bread out the miles of my tip. Big Gib, try it. See, it's easy to see how this shit go on the street. Either you. I be saying stuff a lot in my videos that be referencing to this. <laughs> you gonna be the one that doing it or gonna you get done to, to you. you. It got to have one of them way. Either you gonna be the one doing it or getting that shit done to your ass. It's a good movie. Big Gear, the basically to break it down to you a little bit, is a video. It starts off, you saw in the beginning, dude robs them, steals their camera, and he bring the camera to the hood, and he just start recording shit in the hood. So, like, you seeing drug dealing, people getting killed, people fighting. They And it's, it has a little storyline to it, too, though. It's like a storyline also. So, it uh, it, it, it it's, uh, it's definitely pretty dope. This is my favorite scene though. That 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 one part you were just you were just showing. Kind of looking at us, right? Hold on, now nah, ain't the same. Uh, okay. uh, so you so you want two eight ball and you want the two um what's name? Right? They had it it, it. it might still be on Netflix too, Big Gil. It might still be on Netflix. It should be. Fuck 'em, we ball. <laughs> Yeah, it's a must watch, bro. Afterlife. What the fuck was Afterlife? That sound like a familiar movie, but I don't know, man. That sound like that. Let me see. Afterlife. I don't even know what the fuck that is. Nah, that shit look weird. Shit look weird, bro. What do you, people are, y'all niggas really asking what is snow on the bluff. Y'all might need to get off this motherfucking live stream right now and go watch it. I'm telling, when we get done, I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna probably go play games, right? Y'all need to go watch that shit ASAP, okay? Um, let me see. Y'all tripping. That movie is like, it's a movie that everybody has to see, like. I watched that shit like four, five times. When that shit dropped, I was hitting everybody. You see snow on the bluff? Come to my house. Play it. Boom, watch it. Let me see. Who has seen an advertisement? Uh, Snow. Ooh, that pussy popping on a handstand. Shout out to 901 Ron. You already know what it is, man. You get no love from the streets. Damn, they ain't got snow in the bluff no more. You can get that shit any other way. It's, it's easy to get that shit. That shit all over the internet. Damn, you can download that bitch. That Harriet Tubman movie looking dope too, though, Corey. Let's I'll look at let's look at that too. Then fuck it. You know what I'm saying? We already done looked at everything. We gonna we gonna get hit with something. We gonna hit with we gonna get hit with copyright. Y'all donating anyway. We got donations all day today, so I don't give a damn. You feel me? They gonna take my money. They gonna take my money, man. Let's just keep it moving. Wait, God, just sent another one. Your boy Slade just reviewed the Joy Rides. You're fucking lying. You're, you're f hey guys, it's popping. Jock Slade here, and this. It's over. I'm retiring. I'm retired. I'm retiring. I'm done. I don't want to do YouTube no more. I don't want to do YouTube no more. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. Y'all niggas hold it down, man.
there's not much time. That new blade looking good too. We're gonna talk about that next, right? I like to talk about that. I'm loving like these biops, uh, biopics, whatever biops. I'm, I'm loving these type of movies, bro. I love seeing the visuals and shit. Like, even if it ain't like, I like documentaries one, but when they do shit like this, I love this shit, bro. Whoa, easy now. I'm gonna be free or die. Mm. I don't know if you know how extraordinary this is, but you have made it. I hope. I always wish sometime, man, when we die, man. Of course, I would love to go to heaven. But I would love to be able to, if we die, we could just go back to any time and just watch shit. Like I go watch the motherfucking dinosaurs, watch this shit unfold like in reality. If I'm free, my family should be too. Like I just want to see this shit. I want to see how shit really look. Like we got visual, visualize it, but I want to. I ain't being funny. I want to smell shit. I want to see how shit look. Trouble comes. And and and, and look felt and everything. You ain't more than five feet. Must have won my high boots that day. Why are you back here? It ain't safe. Oh yeah, what what the, the Snickers? Hey man. The worst biopic ever, man. Ever, nigga. I'm I'm speaking fast. I'm not th I'm not thinking right. But it, it I, when you said that, what the sneakers? It made me mad all of a sudden. They fucked Tupac movie up, man. That was disrespectful. And Benny Boom, man, uh, Benny Boom, man. I think I think it's, um, he's done tons of. Mu he's a great B Benny Boom. I believe is his name, but I'm I could be wrong. But I know who, who the fuck. He's a director of music videos. Phenomenal. But they fucked up. They, they fucked Tupac movie up. They did Biggie's movie some justice, but god damn, man. Do you know what would happen if you got caught? You got lucky, Harry. I made a diss for all my own. So don't you tell me what I can't do. Harriet, welcome to the Don't even do it, Kasai. You're going to be pissed off, bro. You're going to be mad, bro. Don't even do it. I don't want nothing to happen. You might catch a heart attack or something. You might catch a motherfucking stroke. You so motherfucking pissed off. God don't mean people to own people. This shit look good, though. I ain't going to lie. Find this thief and burn her so, movie I'm really looking forward to, right? I'm a, we're going to end it off with this last movie. As far as movies, we could talk a little bit more after because I did I did start off late. Y'all know Lena Waite. That's my that's my that's my homie. That's the homie right there. Lena fucked with the channel. She fucked with me and Bull. She fucked with Sample. She fucked with Mike Rich. She fucked with me, Bull, and Mike Rich. She watches, follows me. I got her number. I hit her up. Whatever. That's the homie. I can hit her up anytime. My shit might have to pull her up on the podcast one day. Shit, we chop it up, have her on the podcast. But um, Lena got a movie that she uh, I think she produced it or she directed it. Let me find it. I'm gonna find it real quick. She told me about this shit in February, and they just now, um, they just now, uh, they just now got the trailer for it. Oh yes, yeah, somebody mentioned it. Somebody mentioned it. Somebody mentioned it. Queen and Slim. Yeah, that shit. She told me about this movie. I didn't know that uh, she had Buddy uh, from Get Out in there though. This shit. This the movie she doing. She told me about this movie. I liked your picture. What? You had this sad look on your face. I felt sorry for you. Damn. So what happens tonight? I told her, I said, Lena, I if I do a grand opening in Atlanta, you need to get me some tickets. I asked her, I said, Lena, I need some tickets. We're gonna hang out. Maybe get to know each other. I need some clout. We're swerving a little bit back there. Go ahead and ask you to step out of the vehicle for me. And in, 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 in a year or so, I'm going to say, Lena, I need that acting role. Put me in some. Put me in some, Lena. <laughs> Let me be a let me be a motherfucking I don't know a, a walk I just let me just walk in the screen real quick. What do you want? I want to ride or die. Cop killers, cop killers. It was self defense. There is nothing back there for us. We're in the black money and class. Is this y'all? People. I ain't gonna bend the world. As long as my lady remembers me fondly, that's all I need. Can I be your legacy? You already are. Get away. Get away. 
I, th I think this is based on a true story too, by the way. I think everything is destined. Yeah, Terrence. It was all, but it was uh, it was self defense. It's the self defense he shot. You know, he got. You know that that's some shit. That's some scary shit. That's some scary shit, bro. I always that's been always like a fear scenario in my brain. Imagine you sleep, the cops get the wrong house, they bust in your house, and you think somebody breaking in your house and you kill a police officer. Like what happens then? Or what if they kill you because you shooting them? Because and you only shooting them because you think, nigga, you got a burglar in the house. Trust me, because think of it this way, right? If somebody break into my house, or somebody bust into my house when I'm asleep. And they say police. Am I going to believe that's the police that's really saying it? Because think about it. I'm pretty sure there's robbers or burglars out there who break into people's houses and act like they're the police officer. They wear the ski mask and act like they're police. And then they rob you and leave. So do you supposed to believe when the police break into your house? How do you really know it's the police that's breaking into your house if all you can do is hear it? Now, if you can see it, half the time you can't even see it because if you sleep and they break in, you got flashlights on your face. You All you see the flashlight. You can't see the person behind the flashlight. It's black. I do read the chat, man. Shout out to MJM2313. You already know what time it is, man. They got my man Bokeem Woodbine in the movie. Already. Already know. T.I. and Ellie confront Bow Wow for disrespecting Sierra. Oh. <sighs> but. We got some good movies coming out pretty soon, man. Some good movies. You already know, man. Everybody, make sure y'all hit that motherfucking like button. How many likes we got in this bit right now? I can't even see. How many likes we got off in this bit? Let me got see. Seven. Ooh, 70. We need we need some more, man. We need some more. We got seven dislikes and 71 likes. I need 120 because there's 120 of y'all watching. We need to fulfill the destiny. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, Yeah, Cap Talk is about that time. 901. Half that time, you ain't going to have time to get them credentials, though. That's the thing, you know? What's the next step after YouTube mid city champ? You ask. I think I could do YouTube for the rest of my life. It is. It's, the question is, is what will I do outside of YouTube? Like, I feel like YouTube will. YouTube is. I started YouTube, and then this is my life, right? It's a straight line. I feel like I'm gonna do that forever. But what can happen is I might can just branch off and do something else and continue doing YouTube. Like I want to document my life for the rest of my life. So I don't see myself. Stop in that. Like, I'm going to always document my life. That's for sure. I always want to be... When I die, my, I will live on through the internet ways. I will live on through pictures, videos, everything, you know? I feel like YouTube ain't never going to, like... You know, whether I still make money from it, who knows? I don't know that stuff, but I feel like I will continue to do that. You got to think about... I realize how blessed it is to be a YouTuber at the end of the day because all these people who are, who are like, successful, whether it's actors or whatever, they come into YouTube. Like, Will Smith is a YouTuber now. So, like, I'm doing something that everybody else is now starting to do. So, it's like, why give that up? Like, why, you know, uh, Timothy Delegato, Delegato, one of my favorite YouTubers ever, he made a very valid point. He said, he said, man, I'm trying to get on TV while everybody on TV is trying to get on YouTube. Like, he got on that Wild and Out show, but he was popping on YouTube, but he was trying to get on TV. But everybody who's already on on TV, they were trying to make that move to, you know, YouTube. Like, Ellen DeGeneres, fucking Kevin Hart. All these people trying to get on YouTube now. You know, and they, they are on there. But the thing is, is like, I, I think, like, YouTube can always, it's always available. Like, it'll always be here. You know, whether you're making money off of it or whatever, that 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 may change. But I want to share my life with y'all. I want to I want us to be, I want to I want to look back and be like, yeah, man, Tony, I've been here for 10 years. I've been here for 15 years, 20 years. Nigga, I could be an old man. Whatever. I want to be that motherfucker. Oh, yeah, Terrence. I, I've been, hey, Terrence. Let me just show you something real quick. Let me just show you something. God damn it. This is my subscription page. You see? It's everybody I'm subscribed to. Where was it at? I kept seeing that shit too. That's the thing that's bothering me now. What the fuck? Oh my gosh. Come on, man. Come on, man. 
Right here. Yeah, I, I just watched that video today. Lamborghini party with Tall Guy Review. I just watched Omni's. That nigga got bread, bro. I heard he had an app or some shit and he sold it. That's why he rich as fuck. But he also do music and everything. That nigga, that nigga got hella shit. Hella shit. But... <sighs> yeah, man, you know, but yo guys, I'm going to end it off here. I'm about to go live right after this though, right after this. So you could probably stay on here. Um, and it just should start back up. If it doesn't just click the refresh button or go back to the, to the channel. I'm about to start another live on this channel. So I'm still am going to go live, but we're going to end this live now and then start the next live, which will be gaming and talking. We could talk more movies. We could do whatever you want to do. We could continue talking about movies, whatever. You know what I'm saying? There is the new Grand Theft Auto thing, and I kind of want to go look and see what's going on at, at, that cons at the casino real quick. So, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I want to kind of see what's up with that real quick. But, uh, matter of fact, this is what we're going to do. I know I, I, I just said this, and now, listen, listen here, guys. It's 721. I'll be right back at 7.35. I'll be back online, okay? I'm going to start a brand new one. I'm going to get the thumbnail and everything. 7.35, I'll be right back. Because what I need to do, I need to make a thumbnail real quick for my video that I'm about to drop at 8 o'clock on my main channel. And then I need to uh, I need to do that. And then I need to um, yeah, I need to do that, make a thumbnail, and then I need to get freshened up and get ready. All right? So give me a few minutes. And I'll be right back. Or I could, or I could just go live right now, and y'all just sit here and wait and let me do it while I'll be, t I'll be in this bitch. I could, I, maybe I just do that. Maybe I just fucking just do that. That's what I'll do. I'll start that bitch right back up. Okay. I'll see y'all in fucking five minutes.